Hi, I'm Manny Leap, director of the Boyden Library, and welcome to the Boyden Beat. This episode, I have a very special guest with me. I have Leslie Ann Foster, who's a board member of the Friends of Boyden Library. Welcome, Leslie Ann. Thank you for having me. And Leslie Ann's here to talk about some exciting events, as well as raffles that the Friends of Boyden Library are going to be holding over the past, for, for the next few months. Uh, Leslie Ann, before we get into the raffles, I was wondering if you could just talk briefly about who the Friends of Boyden Library are, what's their mission, and what are some of the events okay. that they sponsor. Hello. Um, yes, so the Friends of the Boyden Library is actually a nonprofit organization that we try to provide enrichment through different types of programming at the Boyden Library. And some of that includes lecture series, music series, um, children's programming, whether it be arts and crafts, story times, um, and different sorts of events. Uh, anyone can be a friend. We welcome anyone who we do um, an annual drive starting in January. And from there, you at any point, you can join friends by visiting the website through the boydenlibrary.org and you can go to check out the um, the member page there you could pay by do PayPal all memberships start I believe at ten dollars as a yeah. student and senior rate and then from there it's just the level of friendship um, and you can donate through there through PayPal through um, mail or you can actually come into the library, pick up an envelope, and deposit right in a box at the library. Excellent. But um, oh yeah, so it but it doesn't. It's just a financial contribution to supporting all of the programming, the wonderful program that you've actually yeah well, organized. I mean, what you what the dedication for the friends. Mm -hmm. I've worked at several libraries before. I ended up here in mm -hmm. at Boyden Library. And I got to say, the friends group here are so dedicated and, and so enthusiastic and mm -hmm. care about the library and care about the town that it's just all the programmings and all the exciting things that are going to be happening soon. Mm -hmm. It's just great. And we, we all appreciate everything that, that you do. Yeah, it's a very good group. And we're very welcoming to any, anyone yeah. who would like to, to participate at any level. That's excellent. Yeah. And if we could... Uh, talk mm -hmm. about a couple of raffles that we're going to be having. Um, Leslie Ann, if you could just uh, let us know when these raffles start, and I guess just go over the uh, three okay. raffles that the Friends are going to be uh, holding. Sure. This is, this is a new, very new, we're hoping to be an annual event, but we decided where this was the first one, we were going to kick it off with three um, different types of raffles. The first being the um, American Girl Tenny Grant doll that just came out in February. And it will include the 18-inch doll, her performing outfit, the book, and also her guitar. And that will be, um, that's, that's going to be presented in a, um, well, all of them are going to be in a glass case when you first enter the library. So they'll be on display there. The value of that package is $180. The next one we have is a lottery ticket bouquet raffle, which we have um, $150 worth of lottery tickets, various ones, denominations ranging from $1 to $20 tickets. And also the one down front is the Lego um, raffle, which has a variety of sets, including, I believe, Ninjago, Batman, Star Wars, um, and also Lego City. There's a small kit, and then the big feature of this is also the Great Lego Sets Visual History Book. Um, the whole value of that package is $205. Wow. Um, the tickets are very reasonable. They will be, um, you purchase tickets a dollar per ticket, or you can get six for, um, six for five dollars, but they're going to be color coded to match pretty much the item with three separate fish bowls or, or jars for the for the entry. So you will purchase or your child can purchase um, a ticket of which color to put into a special thing so that we can keep track of the the sales and make sure that they get entered into the right raffle. Um, and you don't have to be present. They're going to be drawn on June 10th, Founders Day at the field. You do not need to be present. We're hoping you just write legibly on the back of the mm. raffle ticket. Um, but yes, yeah, so we're very excited and hopefully we did um, 
we'll be able to do future ones as well. Yeah. I've seen this at other libraries. As a matter of fact, one of the libraries I was director mm -hmm. at before, they did something very similar and they've done it on an annual mm -hmm. basis and they've been mm -hmm. very successful. But I mean, just what you have here, I mean, we have the American Girl doll, which is very popular. And mm -hmm. this is, like you said, this is the new doll. The new doll who just, yeah, just came uh, out in, um, in February. And her name is Tenny. Tenny. Mm -hmm. She's kind of got the Taylor Swift, I guess, look. Yes. So. She has a little passion there. It says that she's, she's a breakout songwriter who has <laughs> to follow her heart. So the book is in there so you can read her story as well. That's excellent. And mm -hmm. my son uh, would love the Legos because he's a Lego aficionado. Mm -hmm. uh, so he'd have his eye on mm -hmm. this. So you have everything from Batman, Star Wars, and um, mm -hmm. you have that great book, which... Mm -hmm. uh, my son actually has one of those and they're fantastic just to yeah. spend hours and hours just looking at it. And then for the adults we have the uh, scratch tickets Yes, as which well. are always fun. <laughs> yes, they are. I mean, I'm just looking at some of the paydays, $4 million, $1 million. Yeah, and there's a $20 million. $20, a 20 million. I mean, not sorry, 20, a $20 ticket hiding back there. Yeah. Platinum millions. Wow. <laughs> I think it's great. and. I mean, you said before, uh, as soon as patrons enter the library, mm -hmm. we're going to have this glass case. Yes. And we're going to have the doll, uh, yeah, the Lego will sets. Be on display. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And you can purchase these tickets at the circulation desk, which are right on the ground floor there, yeah. and then up in the children's room, which is on the second floor. Right. The, at the circulation desk, they'll be able to do all the transactions and, and give you your tickets if they just complete the back of them. And um, I think we're starting the Friday before April vacation, which is yeah. the 14th. 14th. Mm -hmm. And it's very reasonable. I mean, a dollar a ticket or, I mean, try your luck, six for five dollars. I think that's right. fantastic. And mix and match the colors. That's why I was saying. So you'll, you have to specify which ones you'll be purchasing. So someone could purchase six tickets and they could have, say, three for American yeah. Girl doll and then three right. for the uh, the scratch ticket. Right. Oh, that's good. Mm -hmm. And then it'll be on Founder's Day. Founder's the, Day, right. And you do not need to be on the field, as we said, to, to actually do it. And we will also have these available. Um, they will be on display. I think they will probably not make the trip down to the field, yeah. but we will bring down some um, flyers and things about it. And then you can pick it up at the library on that day. That's great. Mm -hmm. I mean, and, and like I said before, I mean, what you guys do is just phenomenal. Mm -hmm. And I know I appreciate everything that you do. And I know the citizens of Foxborough uh, certainly do. Um, mm -hmm. So in the future, if this is successful, and we hope it is, yes. we could do, this could be an annual event and have yeah. maybe the next American Girl doll or right. maybe another Lego set or scratch or even mm -hmm. maybe something else. I mean, I've seen libraries that have had... Um, iPads mm -hmm. um, and everything. So, yeah, I think so. that this is just a sampling of it and we were really excited where April vacation was coming to think about doing something for the kids and then yeah. we thought throw in something for Why the not? adults yeah, too. Why not? Yeah, absolutely. And again, this starts on April the 14th, 14th. Friday mm -hmm. and then uh, the drawing will be June 10th, June 10th. on Founders Day. So, mm -hmm. uh, you know, I know I'm looking forward to it. I know Yes. You and the, the friends are looking forward to it. And uh, again, we just appreciate everything that you do. Thank you. So thank you very much, and we'll be right back. And welcome back to The Boyden Beat. Again, I'm Manny Lee, director of The Boyden Library, and I have special guest with me, Leslie Ann Foster, who's on the board mm -hmm. of the Friends of Boyden Library. Yes. Welcome back. Thank you. Um, Leslie Ann, I'd like to talk a little bit about another uh, great program or mm -hmm. event that the Friends do uh, twice a year, and mm -hmm. that's their uh, book sale. Yes. So I was just wondering if you could talk a little bit about uh, that when the next one is. Okay. That, that is actually the largest, the largest fundraisers we do are the book sales. Um, so our next one is May 11th, and it runs um, Thursday evening. The 11th, the 12th all day, and the 13th all day um, of May. So that actually, um, 
The first night is a special preview night. We're doing something different this year. From 5 to 6, if you are a Friends member, an active Friends member, we will actually um, have a special hour where you can view the books and purchase ahead of the general public. So that's a nice little uh -huh. perk about being a friend. <laughs> yeah. Now, at the book sale, it's mm -hmm. not just books. Like you, you'd have like maybe DVDs there? Or? Yes, we will have um, books and other specialty items. We have audio books, we have DVDs. We may have a few VHS, but more just for the children. But we have CDs, so music collections and um, coffee table books. Definitely wow. some puzzles for kids we have, um, potentially even games sometimes we have, it. but it's all, it's based on whatever donations we receive. Right. And it's, it's held at the library. It's yes. held right in our uh, community meeting room. Mm -hmm. So when you enter the library, it's going to be on your left. It's that large community right. room and, and mm -hmm. I mean, you guys set it up the yes. couple of days before and it's just, mm -hmm. and you have it by by subject too, right? Like, yes. Yeah, like so, when you, or... so when you walk in, the big community community room actually has all of the books generally sorted by subject. And then from there, we try really hard to even try to group yeah. as much as we can based on um, not just the genre, but also the author where we can, because we do receive duplicates and things. So we'll also um, have the children's in the next That's room. Right. Yeah. That's its own separate little thing. So the young adults and the adults we're going to try to keep together. And then children's will have its own section. And you guys have a plethora of books, but how do you get mm -hmm. these books? It's all donations. So actually, which we have been very... Um, very fortunate to receive some great titles and, and material. We still need more though. We definitely are looking for more um, books. Like we always can use them because we also have, we've been trying to supplement throughout the year with the ongoing bookshop, which is new and located um, in on the first level near the tutoring rooms. We have the adults and the young adults and then up in the children's department and it's been really going yeah. very well, and we're really excited about that. Yeah, you guys have done a phenomenal mm -hmm. job with that, and mm -hmm. I always see at the library there's patrons always at one of them, mm -hmm. and uh, I mean you guys are doing great, and you're yeah. constantly refilling and restocking the shelves. Yeah, it's never bare. No, and that's why I say like it's. And we started from pretty much when the last book sale happened. We donate at the end of it. We had so many books that we were able to donate some to other organizations and still start the bookshop. So that's what got us going. But then throughout the year, we've been stocking with whatever comes in. There's a crew of us that work on actually that basically just that and fill the shelves on a daily basis. Now, if I wanted to donate some books mm -hmm. or some DVDs, uh, mm -hmm. where in the library do I do I go to the desk or what do I do? Actually, it's really easy. You just have to go in the main door, and there is a wooden bin right there, which you can put them right in the slot. If you have a larger donation, you can bring them to the desk and ask yeah. if they want to store them somewhere else. But um, if it's actually a really large donation, which we've had in the past, like if people cleaning out estate sales or something yeah. like estates, um, we will actually gladly even pick them up. <laughs> That's awesome. So that is. yeah, if you just leave a note at the desk. Now, are there any restrictions? Like if I have a stack of Ooh. Reader's Digest? Those are uh, not, no. yeah, okay. that's a no, sorry. Um, and textbooks. Yeah. Yeah, those we cannot really turn them over um, for sale there, so. So if I have, you know, I'm cleaning out my son's room and he has some yes. DVDs that he'd watch when he was younger, I can mm -hmm. just bring it to the library. Just bring them, put them right in the bin. In, in the bin and then they'll, mm -hmm. and all the proceeds go right and then go right back to the, the friends of the library yes yeah so the community ends up just benefiting from all of the wonderful yeah. programming so we're Absolutely. able to bring different things in um, speakers and and um, crafts and mindfulness yeah. activities and you name it there's some great programming yeah. summer reading yeah i mean we could spend an <laughs> entire segment two through three four right. segments <laughs> on all the events that the friends mm -hmm. have sponsored i mean one that comes to mind that's extremely popular mm -hmm. is the Sunday Concert Series. Yeah. I mean, this past year we've had a Beatles cover band. We've had two bands that play Irish music. Mm -hmm. On April the 30th, we're going to have Colby and Kyla, mm -hmm. and they are a folk rock mm -hmm. or folk pop band. 
and they're going to be there April 30th at 2 mm -hmm. o'clock. Um, we've had uh, a few other folk artists, and it, it's great. I mm -hmm. mean, you that's just one of the things that you do. You've sponsored so mm -hmm. many children's programs, and I know during the April vacation, yeah. you're sponsoring a program on April the 18th and the 20th, mm -hmm. and it's yoga for kids. Right. And yep. uh, that'll be, yeah. Yeah, bring your mat and, yeah. and and come. We just ask that people register usually for a lot of them ahead of time if it's space limited, but yeah. yeah. That'll be good. And mm -hmm. uh, just a shout out to Margie Rossetti, yes. uh, the head of uh, the children's department. She does such a phenomenal job and uh, all the programs that she's run in the past and uh, mm -hmm. she's given me a couple of uh, previews on what she's gonna be running for the summer. Mm -hmm. It's gonna be fantastic. And mm -hmm. I mean, just I, I'm just thinking, you know, some of the other programs. I mean, we have uh, another program that the Friends is sponsoring on April 13th, and it's mm -hmm. called Clutter Control. Yes. And it's a gentleman that's going to come in if you have a lot of clutter mm -hmm. in your house and you need to maybe clean it, mm -hmm. you know, and organize, organize, mm -hmm. which I pr I'll probably go to because I need to do that. <laughs> you know, he's an expert at mm -hmm. doing it, and mm -hmm. he's going to be, uh, you know, giving some tips and tricks on how to mm -hmm. clean up, and right. that's on April 13th. Mm -hmm. um, you know, during April vacation, again, we're doing yeah. the yoga, but on the 19th, we're gonna be showing the movie Doctor Strange mm -hmm. at one o'clock, and then on the 21st of April, which is a Friday, we're gonna be showing mm -hmm. Fantastic Beasts and Where to Find Them, again, at one o'clock. Mm -hmm. um, but just, I mean, all, all the programs that you, you do, I'm just, I'm just thinking about in May, we're gonna have, mm -hmm. Dustin Parry from the Ghost Hunters TV show on Sci-Fi. Yep. He we had him back around October, mm -hmm. and the place was packed. So he's coming back. He's got a new uh, series that he's doing. It's called the Magical Mystery Box. It's uh, inspirational stories, mm -hmm. and uh, it's uh, there's audience participation that are involved. Yeah, very... So he's going to be here. That's going to be on uh, May the 9th, actually May the 9th. And then on May the 18th, we're going to have uh, job searching. And uh, we've had this in the past. Well, we have someone that needs to maybe brush up on their resume or is mm -hmm. looking for work or looking for a career change. Well, we're going right. to have an expert come in. And he's going to, uh, again, give tips and tricks and look over your resume. That was, that's one of the things is, your, you should bring your resume so he can look at it and, you know, give some yep. information. Positive, yeah, and actually current information. Yeah. And we have like a, I mean, I, wait till you see the programs in the summer and the fall that we have. Mm -hmm. And it's all to you guys. I mean, wow. if you weren't in existence, we wouldn't be able to provide all these great programs and, mm -hmm. and, and you know, do these with the book sales or, or the bookshop without right. you. And I feel like a lot of people don't necessarily know about the friends because it is a quiet small group yeah. but um, we definitely we try really hard to support anything that the library would like to run and keep it very multi-generational so that yeah. there's a little something for everybody now at the book sale will mm -hmm. there be any applications if, yes. if someone wants to so especially where i had said that with the book sale this year we're doing that member night we will definitely have envelopes available at the front desk and you can sign up right there one new thing we're doing this year at the bookshop too is actually we're going to take credit card debit card oh, right. which is yeah. very new for us yeah. Um, yeah and so you can sign up there if you actually are a current member you get a two dollar credit towards a book which is like That's a good. trade paperback so yeah. not bad so this is something that's been asked about before. Mm -hmm. So patrons now can bring their credit card and use it. To, there, so that's great. Open. That's, that's a, new and yeah. That's another <laughs> great service. Now, how long have you been on the Friends? Oh, I think I'm on year four. Okay. Mm -hmm. And you guys, you know, me and I'm included we, we, in the Yeah, meeting. once once a month, the first Wednesday of yep. the month, and actually at seven o'clock at the library, and we, anyone can drop in, join, there's information online. Yeah. Um, yeah, so we're excited and we are welcoming of anyone who would like to help out. That's fantastic. And, and mm -hmm. like I said before, I've mm -hmm. worked at other libraries, I'm a director at other libraries, mm -hmm. but 
just the dedication and all the hard work that you guys do. Mm -hmm. And I'm speaking on behalf of the library, but and also the citizens of Foxborough that do come and attend these programs. I and mean, we, we thank you. And we couldn't do it without our membership, too, though. Yeah. I say that, I mean, we're welcoming of new, but the, the existing membership we have that run this book sale, yeah. it takes a lot of hands between the sorting oh, yeah. and then also um, the donations are huge, and then as well as actually working at the book sale. Now, I know we said this before, mm -hmm. but if someone's just viewing right now, mm -hmm. If they're interested in becoming a member and they can't maybe make it to the book sale or they're eager, they want to be a friend before the book sale, yeah. where, where could they uh, apply? Well, first stop would probably be, if you're not physically at the library, the first stop mm -hmm. would, online, you can go right to the Boyden's website and you could actually either process it online through PayPal, actually join, it start membership at starting as low as $10 and up. Um, and then also you can mail in a form printed from online, or you can, as I said, drop in. Yeah. And it's right there. You can just deliver it right to the library. But we're, um, yeah, we're always accepting That's people awesome. coming. Yeah. And, the, and the website, it's uh, boydenlibrary.org. Mm -hmm. Or if you just go onto a search engine, Google, Yahoo, just type in Boyden Library, and it'll be the first thing that pops up. Right. So. Yeah. So. It's... I know, and then I don't know, we, we didn't even mention the last chat. We also oh, now gee, have yeah, a new last, last chapter. chapter. Yeah. That's a new thing that came about as well. So even more books available for um, discounted pricing on yeah. um, right on the main level, the ground level, yeah. right in the stairwell, the glass stairwell entrance. Yep, so right when you're mm -hmm. going to go upstairs, you mm -hmm. get the beautiful stairwell there with the glass windows. It's right on right your on left. The left. You'll right. see it. There's signs there. And, mm -hmm. and so. Patrons are always there too, looking mm -hmm. at it. Yeah, many something. opportunities to to find some good books for yeah. for vacation and so forth. That's true. Mm -hmm. I mean, winter is hopefully over, mm -hmm. and we can enjoy some sunny days uh, ahead of us and going on vacation or whatnot. And mm -hmm. what better to go to the library, go to the book sale, go to one of the bookshops pick up a couple of books, or if you see a DVD or a music CD or audio CD mm -hmm. you're interested in, they're going to be there. Right. And, and the thing is at the book sale too, you know, you and other members of the Friends are there too, just mm -hmm. to assist. So if Absolutely. someone's looking for nonfiction, uh, biographies, they can go up to one of you and I believe you have a... Yep, we'll have um, name badges on yeah. and, and be identified as such. and. And because we're there sorting and actually doing it on an ongoing basis, we'd have a pretty good idea of where yeah. to help you find. And now, how about the prices? I know you do have oh, a, yes. a board there with the prices. We and definitely do, and we'll have it. Try, we'll try to have it posted in several places. It's they're very reasonable. I think the highest priced items, unless it's a really big specialty item, which will be noted, most things are three dollars and under with like a specialty item maybe being five or something so very reasonable um, children's it's I mean you you can get books for a dollar that's great yeah. I mean it's the best deal in town yeah. if you think about it now when is the book sale it's May 11th that's Thursday evening it'll kick off and then it will close on Saturday I believe at three o'clock okay and what time on uh, Thursday Thursday it starts at five for members, okay, six for members. general public. Also, something new we're doing at the end of this. Well, we've always um, been approached to do at the bag sale at the end of the book yes, sale. I this can. is new. We're we're actually announcing it will commence at one o'clock. So it's a fill your bag sale beginning at one o'clock in the afternoon on Saturday. Now, do they bring the bags? No, nope, we the will bags? provide the bags, and there it will be a. Um, yeah, one price for the whole bag. So I could stuff as many <laughs> yes. books or even a couple of CDs I could throw in there too? And yep, whatever we have. That's great. And I'd recommend because I obviously I've been to these book sales and, mm -hmm. and you can attest to it as soon as you guys open. I mean, even before you open, there's a line yes. waiting to get in. Mm -hmm. So it's like the first come, first serve too. So if yes. someone's waiting in line, they're going to get first dibs on it's true it gets CDs a little crazy or, in that but I yeah. it's funny I would say most patrons who were there at the beginning also come for the bag sale because it's they an event yeah. yeah you don't want to wait necessarily hoping that the book will be there but 
Yeah. Some people show up multiple times during the week. <laughs> and, and the prices, like like you were mentioning, and it, right when you walk in, there'll be a, a yep. little sign there. And do you have like little, is it little stickers? Little on the trade paperbacks, the trade we paperbacks. indicate, because they can be a little confusing with regu regular paperbacks, the trade paperbacks will be $2. Okay. They're a little more um, expensive than the small paperback. That's great. Mm -hmm. I mean, I... Again, you guys do it twice, so you do it again? Was yep, we'll do it again in November, mid-November. November. Okay, so right mm -hmm. before the holidays. Yes. And, and you guys you guys do great work, you know, and I know you guys are very happy uh, with the book sale, and, mm -hmm. uh, you know, you look forward to doing it. And, yes. Uh, it'll be right around the corner, so yeah. in springtime, in spring, too. In so, spring, yeah. yeah. So definitely, I hope people yeah. stop in and yeah. and visit. Absolutely. I, I appreciate you, Leslie, Leslie Ann, for coming. Um, again, thank you for you and the friends for all your hard work. And, um, you know, please come to the book sale. Please come to our events. Again, they're sponsored by the Friends of Boyden Library. Um, and if you want to know some future events, just go on our website, bordenlibrary.org. We'll have a list there. Or if you're in the library, we have those electronic on the television, they call electronic bulletin boards. We'll have the slides up right. there. We'll have the flyers around. It's also in the newspaper, in the Foxborough Reporter. Mm -hmm. uh, every other week we'll have a list, and sometimes we have articles as well for some specialized programs. So, right. um, you know, please check that out. And again, thank you for coming. Yes, thank you. And for thank you for me. viewing. Again, this is the Boyden Beat, and we'll see you again. Mm -hmm.